I think one of the pleasures of my uh, job here is being close to faculty work, um, to watching as new work emerges, um, to talking with faculty about their plans and visions and ideas of where they're going. I'm also involved in the, obviously, the review procedures for tenure and promotion and things like that. But in that role, looking at the psychologists, the dozens of psychologists at Teachers College and, and watching year by year the emergence of new knowledge, the creation of insights, the applications that are taking place. You know, being right there at the sluice gates where all this knowledge and, and passion and ideas are flowing through, it's really an amazing thing. I mean, I've, you know, you think about what, what we're doing in a university, you know, what this faculty is doing is really um, awesome. I mean, that word awe has been used before. And Teachers College has a history of that and you can see the topics, you know, that that flows across. But um, it, it's it's an amazing thing for me just watching that uh, year by year and being being part of it. And I'm going to use an image um, about this faculty as well as they've struggled for communication, for coherence together, uh, for being in an institution where they can see themselves working together. Um, and the group that Peter Coleman has uh, led, um, I think, has really done admirably. I told a story in the faculty meeting yesterday about um, when Robert Maynard Hutchins, the great president of the University of Chicago, was asked to define what a university was. He said it's a set of isolated faculty offices connected by a heating system. And I think the University of Chicago is actually a little bit like this, but the whole story that you're seeing today here is the opposite of that. It's about academic community. Um, it's about learning how to envision together, how to share, um, how to reinforce mutually. Um, and that's a, that's a great story of how an institution operates. You know, Susan was saying, this is what institution building is all about. And so I'm, I'm very proud to see that going forward here. I think um, it's, it's setting an example um, for all of our fields. Um, and you're going to see the, the work today that, this, that many of our psychologists are doing. Um, my role now is really just to introduce Peter to you. Um, you know, Peter has played a role in this that... Um, I think has been a very special one in helping to enable others um, in being both a leader and a servant leader, you know, of listening and, and not, not upstaging his colleagues, but really working within and among. And so I think he's been a powerful leader in that sense of really collaborating and, and learning how to bring people together. Um, he has not asked for credit. Um, he's not, you know, set himself out in front, you know, but he stood within and among. And I think that's made it possible for uh, the psychologists here to really work together. Um, because as the great historian Ernst Becker said once, a professor is someone who thinks otherwise. And so getting this group to cooperate and really think together and be together and work together, it's required a special kind of leadership. Um, Peter has a distinguished scholarly record, um, books, many, many articles, the leadership of the center here. Um, I'm not going to speak so much to that because he's chosen to play this role as the enabler, and he's going to continue to do that, I know, in his, his keynote address. So thank you, and I'll in, let Peter take the podium. Thank you. Um, so I want to just, we, we have an extraordinary day planned today. There are two poster sessions. One just occurred. There'll be another one at 5 o'clock in the same spaces, but this time with wine and cheese. Uh, there are um, a couple of keynotes that are extraordinary keynotes, uh, one that will follow me here. Uh, and then there are these great panel sessions, these four panel sessions, which are focused on the four thematic areas that we think that the, the, the psychology faculty here believe make psychology distinct, right? So the idea of focusing on social justice, on learning and cognition, on the nexus between evidence-based science and practice, and on the local and global impact of our work are really four thematic areas that, that really heighten what we do here. So we're excited about this event, um, but I would be remiss if I didn't recognize the people that really put it together, right? So the psychology coordinating faculty, but where are you? Can you, can, can you stand up? So Marla Brizard is here, Karen Block, Lane is here, Marie. Please just say hello to John. Jim Carter, Steve Peverly is somewhere, I think. So thank you all. But as I said, the, the, the real work kind of, um, I have to first acknowledge Alex Valentano. Alex, Alex with Marissa Pipe. Is Marissa here? 
Okay, so Alex uh, in particular has really sort of uh, taken this on himself, I think, as a full-time job with his other two full-time jobs, so thank you so much. And then there's been an extraordinary staff of the college, so with the support of Tom and Susan, Trish McNichols, and Heather Donahue, and Camille Walsey, Sarah Clo, James Garner, Joe Levine, that whole group has worked now for, I don't know, two or three months to mobilize this and make it happen. So please join me in thanking them, Camille. Okay, so my job now is to provide some context. And the context, uh, as Susan and Tom had mentioned, uh, goes back a ways. But psychology, well, Teachers College was founded in the 1880s. And the founders of Teachers College, um, uh, who, by the way, founded the school to help educate, to help educate teachers of poor children in New York City, right? So that was the first mandate. And they had the foresight to realize that those teachers needed sound evidence-based information about the context in which children learn in. So one of the first courses offered at Teachers College was a course on educational psychology. And that influence, that, that emphasis, um, really attracted notables like John Dewey and E.L. Thorndike and Naomi Norsworthy and Mary Cover Jones, Leda Hollingworth, Goodwin Watson, Carl Rogers, Percival Simmons, Morton Deutsch, Ed Gordon, and then the alumni, Albert Ellis, Raul May, and others. And that just speaks a little bit to the extraordinary impact that psychologists and psychology have had on Teachers College. Dewey and Thorndike were both uh, presidents of the American Psychological Association, and their colleagues and students really helped launch and shape this institution so that psychological thinking and psychological science and evidence is really woven into how TC does its work. So it really has been central to uh, the college since its founding. We today have 30 programs, uh, uh, degree programs or certificate programs. Um, we have 16 different affiliated research centers uh, that do work in all types of areas, the Dean Hope Center, the Deutsch Center, the uh, Global Mental Health Center. Um, and we have an extraordinary faculty group, many of them are here. So we have today 44 full-time faculty, lecturers and instructors that are um, full-time at TC, and then there's a total of something like 147, 150 affiliate faculty who are there. So it's a huge group of faculty that constitute the teaching body of TC. Uh, and these psychologists conduct groundbreaking grant-funded research in a multitude of really vital areas, learning language, conflict dynamics, family, social justice, neuroscience, you name it, cultural identity. Many of these themes will be, will be picked up in the panels today. Um, and then there are the students, right? So the students, since 1981, TC has granted over 1,000 doctorates, um, over 12,000 master's degrees, so we're really populating the field, right? Um, last year in 2015, 24% of the students here were enrolled in psychology programs, uh, and most other students take a psychology class or two while they're here. So again, as I said, it's really sort of foundational to what TC is. And our students go on to enjoy extraordinary, prestigious careers at universities and in a wide variety of industries and areas of, of public sector really all around the world. So the alumni network is, is, is fantastic. But there has been some bumps, as I think Tom alluded to. Um, there are people, students in particular at TC, that sometimes have expressed a feeling of being outsiders here, a uh, feeling sort of lost in a place that emphasizes teachers and teaching, um, and feeling somewhat marginalized at their experience or unnoticed within the college. And we believe that this is mostly an artifact of a restructuring that happened at the college about 20 years ago when the division of psychology was dismantled and psychologists sort of were positioned around the, uh, the college. Um, and we lost our sense of kind of the core. Um, and so we really have to some degree lost a, a sense of strong vision together and identity together and branding together. And it's affected our ability to come together as a community like this and to think strategically about what we want the future to be and to communicate within programs and across and out, and out to the broader environment to impact the field together and to attract funding 
Um, there have been limitations to what we can do as we struggled to some degree. So despite the fact that psychology is such a force and there are extraordinary psychologists and research and students here, we still have struggled institutionally as Tom alluded to. So for the past couple of years, there has been a group of um, the psychology faculty that, that is initially all the psychology or most of the psychology met for a couple of events um, to start to talk about this. And then we did establish this psychology faculty coordinating committee. And from this group have really started to reconstitute how do we talk to each other? How do we share colloquium? How do we communicate what's happening amongst these 30 different programs and certificates? Um, we've started to work with development and marketing and um, uh, to talk about strategically how do we start to communicate and promote the work of psychology here better um, and how do we better uh, um, help donors understand what we do and while, why we're at Teachers College. Uh, there's a new website uh, landing page for psychology here. Um, we launched this as our first initiative. And the, the next step that we see is to launch an institute, we hope, this coming fall, um, which is called the Institute for Psychological Science and Practice at TC. And this will, the, the mission is to help foster a healthy, just, and peaceful world by really promoting the links between research, practice, and education, by advancing psychological science and promoting social justice in our work and organizations and communities across the globe. So that's what we're trying to do, but we're really what we hope practically we will do is continue to come together with the support of the institution in a more concerted way so that we can together envision what we want to do and how we want to move forward. We can consider the decision-making processes. We can take on things like what is, the best, what is the best for psychology at TC moving forward and how do we really operationalize that together? Uh, what is, how do we have a unified presence at national conferences? How do we ensure fuller integration of psychology into the broader college? There's been some talk about the possibility of a graduation for psychology, of orientations for psychology. So really recognizing our, the psychology identity as a component of what the college does. Um, being involved in supporting new faculty hires and re reviewing core courses and succe succession planning and really then just coordination of communications and funding and then some of the nitty gritty things around accreditation and research methods that take place at the school now in small pockets but that we could do much more effectively and much more efficiently if we do them together. So what has been exciting to me, so Tom talked about being an enabler and I think what was easy to do was be an enabler with a group of people that wanted to do this anyway. So there's tremendous resonance amongst the faculty and students to be a commu community, to work together as a community. And so it's a great time to do this, to launch this institute in the fall, and then to take the energy from this initiative and from what's been happening over the past two years and really start to focus it in ways that really allow us to thrive as a psychological community at TC. So the question I wanna leave you with is not what can Teachers College do for psychology, but what can you, right, do f to further the promise of psychology at Teachers College? Because it really is the energy, the ideas, the insight um, from all of you, particularly the students, but from all of you that will move us forward. So to that end, what we will be doing over the summer and the fall as this institute starts to take shape is identify some task forces and some groups that will reach out to you to, be, to participate in. So you can expect uh, multiple emails from me uh, um, over the summer and in the, into the fall where we start to mobilize. You, are you with us? All right.